Good morning students. Welcome to physics class. Our topic today is going to be heard on progressive wave and propagation. Under this topic we are going to have our objectives as at the end of the lessons the students should be able to define wave give examples of wave state types and classes of wave explain the mode of propagation and representation of wave define terms using wave propagation the first topic is what is wave a wave as we all know is a disturbance which travels through a medium and transfers energy from one point to another without causing any permanent disturbance of the medium that is what a wave is for example, if a small weight is suspended by a string, energy to move the weight may be obtained by repeatedly shaking the string other ends of the string by up and down through a small distance. So the diagram we have here shows how wave moves its molecules of the object of the particles of the medium moves up and down while the wave moves in a horizontal direction spreading from one point to another so that is how wave occurs and the picture also is showing the the wave generated in water water wave in the ocean or in the sea we normally encounter a lot of wave so we normally have the molecules of water moving from one point to another causing a form of disturbance in the water and any molecule any object that is placed within the water is disturbed is either moving up or down or being spread move from one point to another so that is why what will actually explain what the definition of a wave is really talking about so wave is actually a disturbance examples of wave there are many examples of waves such as water wave water wave generated by dropping a stone into a pond or swimming pool water molecules moves up and down and transfers energy waves are seen spread spreading out from the point the stone is dropped so other examples of waves are waves generated by plucking a string fixed at both ends sound wave electromagnetic waves such as light waves radio wave microwave radiant heat ultraviolet wave x-rays and gamma ray these are examples of waves types of wave we have two major types of waves mechanical waves and non-mechanical waves what is mechanical waves mechanical waves are those waves which which are which require medium 
material medium for their propagation example are water wave sound wave and wave generated by plucking a string these waves require a medium for their propagation so that is why they are called mechanical wave they need something to move them from one point a medium that carry them to move them that shakes to help them transfer their energy from one point to another another form of wave we have as according to what we said earlier is non-mechanical wave and non-mechanical waves can also be called electromagnetic waves electromagnetic waves are waves which do not require any material medium for their propagation example a light wave radio wave radiant heat they move by the help of ele electric fields and magnetic fields so Mechanical waves only need material medium for their propagation, while um, electro, while non-electromagnetic wave does not require any medium for their propagation, but by the help of electric field and magnetic field. Transverse and longitudinal wave waves are sometimes classified into two major types types whether mechanical wave or electromagnetic wave they are classified into major type which is what we call the transverse wave and longitudinal waves there are two major waves classifications what is transverse wave? Transverse wave, these are waves where the displacement of the particle is in, in the medium is perpendicular to the direction the wave is traveling. Examples are the water waves wave generated by blocking a string and all the electromagnetic wave so there are wave that we refer to as transverse wave this wave moved by the effect of the crest and trough where crest is the point of maximum displacement while trough is the point of minimum displacement of the medium of the wave as they move up and down the next is longitudinal wave these are waves generated wave where the displacement of the particle is the same direction as the wave is traveling example are of such wave is sand wave sand wave tend to this particle tends to move in a horizontal direction and in the same way that is the direction through which the wave is moving so the direction through which the molecules that bring about the movement of the wave is traveling is the same through which the uh, the wave is traveling so that is what we call uh, longitudinal wave they tend to move by the effect of what we call compression and rarefaction compression is the point of maximum pressure and displacement and rarefaction is the point of lower pressure and displacement so it tends to breed just like when somebody is breathing that is how uh, longitudinal wave tends to move is 
molecules travel in the same direction as uh, through which the direction of wave is traveling so they move in the same direction the next thing we are going to talk about is general representation of a wave wave both longitudinal wave and transverse wave which are major two major classification of wave move are represented generally by using a sinusoidal graph which illustrates this that shows sinusoidal graph uh, both up and down which represents point of maximum displacement which we call the crest and here represent point of minimum displacement which we call the trough and this is a point of equilibrium position and every wave that we talk about when we are treating with the mode of transportation or movement of a wave is all they are all represented in this way whether longitudinal wave or transverse wave we use this to represent them generally this is the direction of propagation of the wave why this shows the 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 amplitude position the amplitude is measured from equilibrium position to the maximum displacement while the wavelength of the wave is measured from between trough the distance between two consecutive crests or trough is equal to wavelength so that is how waves are generally represented so to summarize all we have been saying we have it in this way one the waves a wave is a disturbance that travel through a medium and move from one location to another location and that depends on the direction of wave propagation wave can be divided into transverse and longitudinal wave and if the particle of the medium oscillation in the direction oscillates in the direction perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave we have transverse wave and the mechanical waves require a medium for their propagation on the other hand the non-mechanical waves do not require any medium for their propagation yes, the crest is the maximum point of upward displacement of the medium a trough is the minimum point of downward displacement of the medium that if the particle of a medium oscillates in the direction parallel to the direction of the propagation of the wave it is called longitudinal wave that the compression compression region of maximum pressure and density while a refraction are the areas of minimum pressure and density and longitudinal waves usually travel in the form of compression and the refraction
thank you for listening so go through your work in your notes and go through this again and again to understand the the simple explanation of wave and carry out your exercise the, the and answer questions that you are given in the post thank you